and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more dying light 2 campaign peacekeeper mode and peacekeeper driven we're going to be doing veronica main questing which is going to be right over here now the real question is should i sleep off day nighttime or do it as daytime ah uh, i'm just gonna sleep off daytime because we still have to walk for the forest to get there so i think it makes more sense doing that I know there's a forest over there, and I know there's mines, so I'm just like, maybe I will sleep off night. Anyways, I hope everyone's enjoying the content. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. I hope everyone's enjoying the gameplay as well. Better word for it. Uh, where am I? Oh. The real question is, why would you spray all this chemical if you didn't have it tested to see if it was keeping the disease away? It doesn't make a lot of sense. <sighs> You help the peacekeepers. Yes, and? but only to get here, really. Ator. He was trying to do something good in Old Villador. But the hatred between the Bazaar and PK grew too strong. It became a powder keg. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for information about Waltz. The GRE found out that he was conducting unauthorized experiments. What do you want with him? His experiments were on kids. And I want to know why he did it. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? Why are you helping me? Are you looking for something in the database as well? Aiden, those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died because I was a part of it. I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like what you discover? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. How did a GRE doctor wind up at the bazaar? By not letting anyone know I was a GRE doctor. After the revolution, the GRE were blamed for the disaster. Personnel were rounded up and executed. People used revenge to relieve the pain. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work. 
What happened, happened. Now I'm someone else. How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. The stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> the blocker is working. Warning, main power circuit malfunction in block B. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Yeah. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica? I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden.
Alrighty, it's time to be very, very quiet. The entire lower level is full of zombies. in that corner, but I can't see where they are. Oh, there he is.
ready. What is that? Of course I need to go that way. Still, holy shit, what is that? <laughs> I know I faced one of those before, but this one's a little different. jump down there real quick. Hey Veronica, I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator. It stopped. I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Do something. Quick. Please. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Guess I need this. Ah! Oh my God! Please, please let me out. Chill. I'm working on it. Just let me out! Let me out! I'm not sitting on my hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me! Just don't oh, leave me here! Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. Power's 
back. You all right? I've been a little bit, huh? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So what happened here in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this Witnesses to history. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor.
I need to get in there somehow and get that door open. Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. Maybe you'll find out what Waltz was up to. Finally. Will that change anything? Here and now? Everything. It might help me find... Find something I've lost. Without it... I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... Lost. again what now the terminal is inactive the security system isolated this area uh, I guess I'm up I've got an idea try to find the officers room there's a security desk we could try to operate the door locks from there you should be able to use your GRE key on it you sure know a lot about this building Please, just insert the key and select Emergency Unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. We may have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are.
Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director, Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. Let's go, we've got things to do. Yeah, let's go. You find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. <clears throat> I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. What's going on? Talk to 
Talk to me, Veronica. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! I'm thinking. So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the control room. Determination procedure ready to begin. Alrighty, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.